So Katie and I are playing Super Mario the other night because uh, I guess God told me to play Super Mario. I haven't played Super Mario in a long time, but that's the stuff I like. If I'm going to play a video game, I want to play the Mario Brother game. So um, that's the stuff I remember as a kid. So anyways, Katie and I are playing and I recognize I'm not very good anymore at these kinds of video games because I don't typically play a lot of video games. But anyway, so we're playing and... We kept, we were on, um, I don't know which one it was, honestly, it's the one with the little dinosaur, and we're on level four, which is pathetic, I realize this, again, I'm not a real gamer, but, so I'm on level, uh, I passed level four, and we're on level five, actually, alright, level five with the little dinosaur, and um, it might have been level six, anyways, we can't pass it, and we played it for like 20 minutes, and uh, just kept playing and dying and dying. You know, you're falling into holes, falling into holes. And, you know, there's these little bird things that are coming in and they kept killing us. And we just kept, we couldn't do it. Um, you know, and Katie kind of was at one point, she was like, I'm done. I'm done. And uh, I kind of felt the same way. It was kind of like, you know, I want to go back. I want to go back and play the other game. I want to play, let's play level one. Let's play level two. Let's play level three, level four. Um, this level's too hard, I don't want to do it anymore. And I, I started to realize that I think that's what I do in Christianity. I, I think that's what I do with Jesus. Um, and I think that's what a lot of us do with Jesus. I think we go and we play at the level that's easy. And we go, you know what, let's play level one. Because I know how to do that. I, I can read my Bible. That's level, you know, level one, right? Or, you know, okay, I'll read my Bible and I'll pray. Or, or I'll read my Bible and I'll go to church. I can do level two kind of Christianity. Or whatever it is, you can kind of make up your own levels. And, and I just want to, I'm not actually trying to assign levels. But I am recognizing, you know, there are levels in your faith. And I was, so this week we start uh, studying the book of Mark. And the book of Mark is awesome. And in Mark chapter one, we see, um, I'm going to kind of read through some notes here. Uh, we see Mark get baptized, not Mark, Jesus get baptized by John the Baptist. And it's immediate, like as soon as, as soon as the book starts, chapter one, right? He's baptized and then he goes and he's tempted in the wilderness. And I recognized a couple things, you know, because Mark is so quick, you know, it just says, you know, it goes straight into it. And there's like two verses, you know, it's Jesus is baptized and the, the, the Holy Spirit descends like a dove and, you know, God rips open the heavens and says, this is my son whom I'm well pleased. You know, it's like Jesus like accomplishes that first level. He does like, he's like, he wins, you know, it's like he gets to the end of level one, right? You know, so he did what, he did what God told him to do, not because he needed to do it. He did it in service of others and he accomplished his mission. And it's like, yeah, level one. And then immediately he goes into the desert. Level two. The other thing I re realized is so often in spiritual uh, life, in faith, when you accomplish level one, you go to level two. Guess what? Level two is always harder than level one. That's how it is. Um, and you can follow Jesus' life all through. It, it really is kind of like that. Um, and that's that's the, that's kind of the faith walk that you know the narrow road. It, it's harder, you know. It gets it gets harder every every step. And I think a lot of us are avoiding the next step. You know, it's like you know we don't want to go in the wilderness. We we don't want to up our faith. We don't want to up our our sacrifice or our giving. We don't want to up our uh, time with God or our worship. We want to play on level one level two, level three, because we know we're good at that. I want to encourage you, friends, if you want to have those moments where the Spirit of God descends like a dove and where God says, boy, that's my son. Those spiritual highs, if you want to be close to God, guess what? You have to keep playing. You have to keep going. That's my word for you. I'm going to give you a verse. Uh, if I can give you my this verse. Uh, second, uh, second Peter. Second Peter 3.18 says, grow in, the, grow in the grace of knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Jesus wants you to grow. He wants you to abide in him. 
He wants you to continue on. You're called to go to the next level. I know that's not always easy. A lot of times the next level is harder than the level you're on. But that's what God wants for you. I want to encourage you, friend. I want to encourage you to, to be on the same path with me and say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to beat this level and push on through to the next level of faith. God, have your way in us. Be glorified. Don't allow us to be content with where we are. Allow us to push through barriers. Allow us to push through mediocrity. Allow us to push through apathy. And allow us, Father, to have moments of spiritual encouragement where the Spirit of God descends on us and blesses us because we've pushed through and because we've overcome, because we're more than victorious in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you. That's my prayer for you. Let's move to the next level.